Okay guys, so I'm back with my list of figures that I made about a week ago. So when I get a job, I'm hoping to buy these figures within the, the next six months. And so yeah, hopefully uh, I'm hoping to buy these figures within the next six months for when I get a job so I can order stuff and you know on ringside collectibles where I can do some toy hunts, you know, get them, find them, have money to buy them and have all this. Um, so, these, this is a lot, but it's going to be in the next six months, so, right now, what I'm saying is, like, I'm not guaranteeing any of this, okay, so don't be expecting, like, a review or something, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it within the next couple of months, you know, but hopefully I can, you know, if I, get, if I get a job, I'm definitely ordering some of these, I'll be doing an unboxing video, and, yeah, I'll be doing fig reviews and stuff. Um, low bro, that package, I, if you guys watched the update about the channel, he has a package coming in that we're going to unbox and do another review on what it is. He still hasn't told me what it is. He wants it to be a mystery. So, yeah. Um, so, this is, again, no guarantees about this, but this is my figures list that I've been looking for to buy in the next six months or eight months or a year. It could be anything. It really just depends how much money I make. So, defining moments figures. I'm going to buy them and I'm going to put them up on my shelf. It's like up here, you guys can't see it, but it's up on my shelf. So, on my shelf, and I'm going to keep them in the box. So, I'm going to make sure I probably order them in like figure cases. Um, so, they don't get tore up. I'm going to put them on my shelf. And when I get all of them and some figures and stuff, I could do another room tour. But that's when I get all of them. So, I got to work, find a job, make the money. So, these are the defining moments figures I'm looking for. Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Razor Ramon, Stone Cold, and the most recent Defining Moments figure, John Cena. It's awesome. He has those. Are the, he has a Defining Moments come out called War Life. It's on Ringside Collectibles. So yeah, um, here are the elites. Dan series 38 Elite Daniel Bryan. Series 38 Farouk, Series 38 Bradshaw, which is the APA elites. They come with like a door and a table and stuff. It's awesome. Uh, Neville's elite from Series 42, which is awesome. And I'm not looking for the ringside exclusive Chris Jericho, but the Legends Chris Jericho. They have um, Elite Legends now on ringside collectibles. And this Chris Jericho comes with like his entrance jacket, which has like the lights on it and stuff that Ambrose tore up. That's awesome looking. That. Those are the elites, which that's all I've been really looking for. Battle packs. Now there's a lot of these. Um, Edge and Christian battle pack from Series 42 battle packs that comes with the tag team championships because I don't have any tag team championships for figures. The Dudley Boys from Series 41. <clears throat> Dudley Boys battle pack. Um, that comes with a table. I was thinking about whether buying their both of their elites. But I'll just buy their battle pack because it comes with the table. And the Dudley Boys were awesome and they retired recently, which is kind of sad, but it's kind of like, you know, they did what they wanted and they were awesome. So that's awesome. Um, series from another battle pack from the Series 41 battle pack series. That sounded weird. Um, <laughs> the Vault Villains. I like to find them. Aiden English and Simon Gotch. Um, from battle pack Series 39, the Primetime Players. Darren Young and Tyus O'Neal. I know they're not a tag team anymore, but I don't have either of their figures. And they're both wearing different attire in the battle pack. So it's kind of like having each their own different figures. Like, if you just started watching, you wouldn't know they were a tag team. Um, J, J Security from Series 37 battle packs. But many of you guys are wondering, why would you want J&J Security? Because you know, I'm going to buy a commentary table. And I'm going to have, like, there would be, like, the commentators and stuff. Because they're both wearing suits. Um, Hornswoggle and El Torito from Series 34 battle packs. Which is cool. Comes with mini chairs and mini table and stuff. It's cool. And Ric Flair and The Rock from the WrestleMania uh, Heritage Series Battle Packs. So, yeah. Now, the basics. I'm just going to storm through because I don't want this video to be super long. Here's the basics I'm looking for to buy. Demon Kane, Apollo Crews, Baron Corbin, The Miz, Zack Ryder, Eva Marie, Honky Tonk Man, Eric Rowan, Hideo Itami, Tyson Kidd, Hulk Hogan, Heath Slater, and on Figures Toy Company or WrestlingSuperstore.com, made by Figures Toy Company, they have a uh, three counting and talking referee that I want to buy. That's cool looking. So here are the pop vinyls. <laughs> There's a list, guys. There's the pop vinyls I'm looking for. 
Bray Wyatt, Bret Hart, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and some mystery minis. Um, I guess I'll just do accessories too. Um, figure accessories I'm looking for is the wheel, two wheelchair play sets looking to buy, commentators play set, ultimate tables, ladders, and chairs play set, two of them from Ringside Collectibles, um, 10 pack of steel chairs, uh, three tables from Ringside, all these are from Ringside basically. Um, steel steps for the ring, for the um, authentic scale ring, a TLC ring skirt, and a extreme rules ring skirt for the ring. And actually, rings I'm looking to buy are this one's from WrestlingSuperStore.com, made by Figure Sport Company. It is um, the High Wire War playset. It's like you put these posts on each side of the um, ring post, and it shoots up like this. And there's like wire that runs like an X across them, and you can put the title in the middle and have like ladder matches and stuff if you want to have it for like a bigger ring instead of using like a smaller ring. So that's cool. Um, the Crash Cage set. That's awesome looking. I really want to hopefully buy it when I get the money. Um, the uh, WCW Hall of Fame ring with um, Dusty Rhodes. I saw it on my last toy hunt, and if you guys watched it, that video has actually been getting a lot of views lately, which is crazy. So that's a lot. Thanks, guys. And it comes with um, Elite Dusty Rhodes. It's like a WCW ring. And it's just called Wrestling Ring by um, Figure Story Company. It's just like the authentic scale ring. But it's made of like actually made out of what a ring is. It has like actual steel posts, actual like foam from a wrestling ring. The pad foam, but padding or whatever it is. I don't really know what's made of a wrestling ring. I know there's some planks and stuff. Well, it has the padding and stuff, which is it's awesome looking, guys. It's just it's awesome. So that's a lot of stuff that I'm looking. Wow, that question took a long time. Oh, I'm really yawning. Favorite elite figure, Sting. Um, if I didn't have to say Sting, hmm. if it wasn't Sting, it was probably either be Seth Rollins or Rey Mysterio from WCW or Shawn Michaels. Um, his um, network exclusive. We had the ladder match with Razor Ramon. Not at WrestleMania 10, but at the SummerSlam following when he actually won it. This is probably my favorite elite, guys. Besides Sting, is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. He's really cool. Really cool looking elite. Um, favorite basic figure. Whew. That's hard. Probably Ultimate Warrior. He came with the... Um... I ain't even. It's over there. Well, it came with the Wing Championship from the Attitude Era, and he's awesome. He has like USA colors on. His his tights have like USA his logo and stuff. His knee pads have it. His boots have it. He has the wire like the. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it goes off his arms. You know what I'm talking about the stringy things. It has this on the back of his knee pads. It's a really detailed basic. It was from the Champions series. Base, find a basics. It's a really awesome basic, guys. He's cool looking. He has, it's an awesome basic. Um, favorite show? WWE, Ring of Honor. If it's not related to wrestling, like, if it's not like an actual wrestling channel, like TNA, Ring of Honor, WWE, New Japan, if it's not any of them, it's probably Edge and Christian show. That totally reeks of awesomeness. I like that show. It's on the WWE Network. So yeah, it's awesome. Favorite song? Hmm. Now, I don't really don't listen to much music unless it's like WWE theme songs. And my favorite theme song is probably Curtis Axel. I like his theme songs, cool. I like his theme. Or I kind of like Finn Balor's too, but probably Curtis Axel. He has a cool theme song. Favorite food? Rob, that's hmm. Probably rice, chicken and rice. You can't go wrong with chicken and rice or tacos. One or the other. Those are awesome. Favorite drink? Chalk milk. I drink a ton of milk. I'm trying to gain weight too, so it's like I'm drinking like six, seven glasses of chocolate milk a day. It's it never gets old for me. I love it. Favorite, oh, there's a question right there. Favorite WWE theme song. 
I already said Curtis Axel, so then I guess I'll say Finn Balor for the next, for this one would be Finn Balor. Um, favorite hobby? Collecting wrestling figures. Because I wouldn't really say baseball is a hobby, because I play baseball all the time. I play like 60 games in the summer, and I play a good 10 in the fall for fall ball. But that's a sport. If it was baseball as a hobby, it'd be baseball. But I'd say figures. Okay, I'd say collecting figures. Favorite baseball team? You guys, watch my room towards the Red Sox. They're right here. Up there is a pennant up there of the Red Sox. So, yeah, favorite baseball team is the Red Sox. Red Sox. Favorite store? Probably Toys R Us or Walmart or Target or Walgreens or Big Lots for. Anywhere that has wrestling figures, I love. I also like Dick Sporting Goods, which is a good place for like baseball and stuff. It's good. Favorite website? RingsideCollectibles.com. That's easy. Favorite game? WWE 2K16. And last but not least, it says favorite, least favorite tag team in WWE and in NXT. The least favorite tag team in NXT. It's the authors of pain. I don't really like them. I just don't. I don't know why. I just don't like them. There's something about them. And my least favorite tag team in WWE. Hmm. Oh. Probably. Oh, I think about this for a minute. Probably. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like all time is probably the League of. Oh, that's easy. I figured it out now. The League of Nations. I hated them. It's not that they were heels, they were heels and stuff, but it's kind of like. Dude, they're just stupid in the first place. Like, I don't want them. Like, I don't, I didn't, nobody liked them in the first place. It's not that they're booing them because they're healed. It's because nobody wanted to see them. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> in the last two questions, favorite tag team of all time is Edge and Christian. Right now, I would say the Dully Boys, but they're not on right now. <clears throat> so, probably the Usos. I really like the Usos. And least favorite tag team. My favorite tag team, sorry. My favorite tag team in NXT. I like um the two guys that are on the Cruiserweight Classic. I know it's Johnny Gargano and it's like Tomasa Champa or something. I really like them. They're awesome. I don't know their name. I think it's easy. It, no. I like. Hmm. Probably, either, probably TM61, I like TM61, so probably them, that's uh, some hard questions, but I think, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, well, thank you guys for watching, this is a pretty long video, I'm sorry, it was the list, but I want to answer the question, I want to answer it pretty thoroughly. So now everything that's hoping. So yeah, guys, I, just making sure that's it. Yeah, guys, that's basically it. Thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you have any questions for next Q and A, comment down below in this video or the last couple videos, so I can check them, you know, and I can add them to the next Q and A list of questions for the next. The next quest list of questions for the next Q and A video. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. It's kind of long. Hold on, the chair, the chair kind of sunk a little bit. It what well, goes like really short and it goes like the normal and then it goes high. I'm on normal right now. So yeah, guys, that's that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe down below for more. And also that vlog is either coming out today or tomorrow, one or the other. Yeah, I don't know. So, <laughs> it's either coming out today or tomorrow. But, yeah, guys, enjoy this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe down below for more. It is Bryce 
from Bryce's Wrestling Channel. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace.